Hello stylists! Welcome back to the Full Style Group channel for another video! So, today's video is going to be, as promised, what I made, sewn, create, created in quarter two. That is April, May, June. So if you're interested in seeing all the beautiful creations that I have created, then stay tuned. Okay, hmm? stylers, let's get into it. Yes, we are still downstairs because it's hot. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. I'm not going in any certain chronological order or any... I'm going to go with what's here, but the first one I want to show is the one that I am most proud of, extremely proud of, extremely proud of, okay? More so than my coat, okay? Which is technically in the second quarter. Extremely proud of is my Bridgerton inspired gown. I love this. I love this. I made this um, mid late May um, for the Bridgerton experience here in Chicago. Um, I purchased this fabric at New Rainbow Fabric here in Chicago, South Loop. I saw this fabric, um, I want to say in April. Yeah, back in April, I was fabric, I was fabric swatches, fabric swatches. I was looking for fabric swatches for a client and I saw this fabric and I was like, oh my God, that is gorgeous. I need it. I'm going to have to come back for it. And then I purchased my tickets for the Bridgerton experience and I was like, this is going to be my Bridgerton dress. I used, um, I modified a pattern that I picked up at Joann's in like a, a magazine. Um, and the pattern came in a size 20, either 20 or 24 and I modified it um to make my size and i also modified and extended the size of the sleeve i anywho modified it and that pattern calls for like a circle or fitting for a skirt i just went with a seven a gathered column shaped skirt because i was running low on time low on fabric and just want to simplify something because i spent so much time in detail in the bodice and sleeve but i absolutely love this um, it does have a few, uh, minor, uh, uh, fit issues and some adjusting needs to be in the neckline. Try to be cute and sexy. I cut it a little too deep. So now the shoulder is a little too wide and it likes to hang off and droop. And then I need to adjust the line and the lining is a bit too long than the actual dress. So I need to adjust that. But other than that, she's perfect. So, uh, piggybacking off of the Bridgerton inspired dress, um, where I was named Diamond of the Ball, I created, um, it's, um, not sister, not little sister, I created like his cousin, um, using that same pattern and modifying it a bit further, um, creating a duplicate and modifying it a bit further by creating this square neck that I need to fix it. She just came out the wash, and I really need to fix the facing. So, anywho, I created this square neck mini version of this dress, but I included it with a big back out action. Um, so, the back is out. It has these bands and ties here to go across my bra strap. There's a hook and eye here at the top. We have the same constructions of the sleeve, um, and this one has a circle skirt with pocket. This is my first time doing a circle skirt. I did a gather circle, circle skirt. I usually just do a gather skirt or a pleated skirt or a, a pencil skirt, but this is my first time doing a gather, a gather circle skirt. Circle skirt. I need to uh, adjust the pattern a little bit more, but I really, really like it. This is a double cotton golf 
from Mood. I, I purchased Mood Spring Mystery Kit, Mystery Box, and this is the fabric that I got. It's in this beautiful pale, pale, pale petal pink, which was perfect for this event that I attended in that um, uh, June. Um, I attended a Celebrate Rose picnic, the dress code was pink. Um, absolutely love this. Fit issues. Uh, I think I had the same situation with the shoulders. Um, the facing got out of hand, and so it was bothering me the whole day. And now it has started to unravel. This fabric crazy and unravels like crazy. Um, and then the back of the skirt, the back of the dress, the back of the skirt is shorter than the front. And I'm trying to figure out what happened. I'm trying to figure out why. But we move on. Love that one. Oh, I forgot to rate these. Bridgerton dress gets a five out of five because I'm biased. Pink rose dress gets a four out of five. Four out of five for my human error. Um, four out of five, but she's ideal. So now we get into like the smaller things, the little fun things. Absolutely love this. Um, uh. Oh wait, no, I have one more dress. Next up is a dress that honestly has been in the making for like a whole pandemic, three years. I picked up this beautiful white eyelet fabric from Joann's in like 2019. And I had the pattern pieces already cut out and then I don't know what happened. Uh, oh, I know what happened. I had the pattern pieces cut out and then I realized I didn't have enough for the skirt I didn't have as much as I wanted for the skirt to make it as full as I wanted and so I stopped I picked up like I said this beautiful eyelet fabric I picked up this beautiful eye this beautiful lace trim and then this lace trim and I knew the design I had in mind I wanted the, the lace trim piping around the neckline and then I wanted this trim to go in between the bodice and the skirt to create some type of illusion a little sheerness so i was in a uh, textile discount minding my business picking up some other fabric i seen another fabric and so i picked up this white lace fabric for about four dollars a yard i got five either four or five yards and i use it to make a box pleat skirt um love it I kept it all the way to the border, so I just cut the fabric in half. I do have a line under this. This is quite sheer. The lining is a bit shorter than what I wanted, but I was using fabric that I already had and didn't want to purchase anymore. And I wore this for Easter. I believe this may or may not be in my other video. I'm going to check. But I finished this for Easter. I love this one. She's cute. I definitely will be wearing her again. Um, I wore her with a button up underneath because I just didn't want my... It was, a little, it was a tad chilly, and I didn't want my bra straps out, but I love her. I will give her a four, yeah, a four out of five. My only issue is the straps. I never can get the length of my straps right. I swear, I try, I do the whole tack into the bag and pull them over to the front, and still, they, so my straps are a bit long, and the line, like I said, the, the line is a little short. I was... I was living on the, I was living close to the edge, y'all. So, so I created a few corsets for the spring season. The first one here is a simple um, corset using the what was this? The um, boiled wool that I used for my coat. The boiled wool that I used for my coats from this tutorial. Um, I, sh well, I did I upload a tutorial back in April I believe April <laughs> April late April for this coat that I made and I used some of the uh, leftover fabric to make this cute little corset just a nice little top something fun for that early spring late spring season um it is going to go back in the bin it's going to go in the bin because because it's wool, it's a, it's gonna be it's, it's a little too cold. I left the edges raw because this fabric doesn't fray. 
I'm not worried about it becoming undone. I am, I keep going back and forth on the fence about it. I think I want to take some white bias and finish off the edge as well as add that like bony like detail but keeping it soft and not adding actual bony or zip ties. Um, but I keep going back and forth but I don't know if that's going to make it look better or just make it look worse. But I love it as is but I, I something in me want to add that extra pop of detail. Um, I have quite a bit of, not quite a bit, I have probably like a little less than two yards left um hmm, maybe like a yard and a half left of this and then i have a bunch of scraps so i'm trying to make a bag from it i'm gonna see how much fabric i left because i may make a duplicate so that i can do the white bony the white piping detailing on the other one and just keep this one playing because i really like it playing. but i also really would love to see it with the white piping detail stylist let me know should I do the white on this one and don't make another one? Or should I try to see if I have enough left over to make two? Because that would be really nice to have two. And I can have the two different looks. See? I'm going to go searching through. Yeah. I may have enough to make me a second one. I still have the fabric that I already cut from my bag. Speaking of corsets, I was at my new favorite fabric store, Textiles Discount, and I was fabric shopping for, I was getting fabric swatches for my shop, The Creation, because I wanted to make some really dope African um, inspired um, accessories. And I seen this beautiful fabric, I swatched it, and then I came back to get it, and literally I got the last on the road. I got maybe a yard and a half. No, a little less than two yards. And I'm sad, I'm sad because I wanted to use it to make like some bags and then I was like, well maybe I can make something else. But anywho, I made this corset using the pattern that I created, the same pattern from the pink corset, the same pattern that I created back in, what was it, was that 2020 or 2021? No, that was, hmm, from this tutorial um, where I made those two where I made them two corsets using that mystery fabric that I had. I had some fabric that I, I think I got it from like somebody from my church, one of my tribe sisters, that I have no idea what it was, but I painted one of them and made corsets. So this beautiful corset, I have not worn her outside. She may be coming to LA with me. If you see my last video, my collective haul, I, I talked about LA. She may be one of the things that's going in the bag with me to LA. I it's traditional corset vibe. I kept her soft. Um, I didn't do no boning. I did a facing, so I didn't have to do a complete lining. And then I finished it off with the satin on the edge. And then I added these cute little teal satin ties ribbons to tie up because it matches perfectly with the teal that's in the actual color. If you could. The actual color of the corset. I, I haven't worn her yet, so I don't want to adequately. I tried her on, but I haven't worn her out and like to the world, so I don't want to improperly judge her. But for right now, I'm gonna give her a 3.5. Um, not because I think anything wrong with her. Um, I'm just this was experimental for me, especially with the ties and everything. Oh lord, the only thing I've been made with ties was that pink lawn dress that I made last year. And so, um, I don't know how the fit is going to be fitting, but I tried to get her as fitted as possible. So, we'll see. Um, I'm going to try her on for this video. And so, maybe my rating would change when I try her on to see how she fit. Speaking of satin, teal, teal satin, I also created a satin, uh, a slip skirt, a slip, slip skirt, satin slip skirt. Um, cut on the bias. I think I shared the black one that I made in my last video, my last quarter quarter one roundup. And I said that I have patterns and I have more fabric and I was going to create more where I created a teal one and I absolutely love this one. I wore it to church week before last week and got so many compliments. <sighs> Even the guys was like, that's a good skirt. And everybody loved the color um, and how it draped and how fluid it looks. 
um absolutely love this i have some more satin fabric from a uh <laughs> a huge purchase i made um probably like a month or so before my grandma uh probably like uh, a few weeks a month before my grandma passed that i was gonna do a collection or drop from my boutique but end up in doing it because my grandma passed and so i i, I didn't want to revisit that so i'm using it for my clothes use it from first i didn't i sat with the idea i prayed on it i didn't want to do it so have this love this it's about mini length i've worn it like i said i've worn it to church uh they've made an appearance in like two or three videos and content so super cute so the piece that is in stumps many of you guys have been waiting for i had intended to finish this quarter one but couldn't and so it's making its appearance here in this video and that is this beautiful wool coat in that same mauve dusty pink color i use this beautiful wool from mood fabrics um and this cute, this beautiful poplin printed poplin um print fabric from mood as a lining and i use their i think it was the clark coat pattern that gave me hell the pattern that gave me hell the instructions for the pattern gave me hell um so she is i don't want to say she's unfinished she needs some sprucing up she needs some details the collars need to be worked the, the hem the, the hemming is ugh, the lining as much as i love her as much as I love this oversized slouch fit, as much as I love these exaggerated, exaggerated lapels and collar, I don't like where the pockets hit. They're really low. Um, I don't like how my lining is not making sense and my hem is off. I don't know if it was a me error or something that I misinterpreted from the, the poorly written construction instructions. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give her like. A 2.53 out of three dresses I love these large cuffs but again me the installation of them the attachment of them was wonky <sighs> the line is janky I'm gonna have to get her like a 2.53 stars because she's not giving us one I wanted to give from the outside from far away she does what needs to be done she does what needs to be done. Almost like the blazer that I made. That purple blazer. I'm going to fix her. I'm going to watch hella tutorials on how to make coats. And I'm going to fix her. Because I spent too much money. I spent too much money on this fabric. And too much time on this coat. For me not to be at least 95% with her. I don't look for perfection. I look for excellence. And she is not getting it last up guys we have a bonus these are bonuses because these are not actually um stuff that i made these are more upcycles um uh, i didn't do a lot of upcycles this quarter i definitely didn't do none and uploaded them to instagram I mean, youtube i did a, a few i did a few on my instagram and tiktok well mainly instagram tiktok is suffering but who is in this day? So I'm going to show you these two dresses. First one is this beautiful maxi dress. This tank, this what is this like a the tank? Yeah, tank column. I'm actually a little fit and flare. I had a little flare at the bottom. A beautiful printed dress, maxi dress. Um, she was cute. I love the fit of her. I love the style of her. I love the I love the style. I love the tank, you know, sleeveless, scoop neck, shoulder, chest, shoulder, cleave, got your arms out, it's cute, it's hot, um, and I love the print, I love the fit of her, however, I just wanted to give her a little something, she was just kind of like, eh, and I wanted to give her a little, <clears throat> let you click your throat, and I just simply did that by cutting a split, <laughs> I cut this thing open in the front to give a little leg, I just wanted to give her a little leg, I mean, the girls deserve to get leg. Okay, the world is the world can see it, and I am deserving to give a little leg. I don't have to be constricted. I can un 
confine myself and give a little leg. Um, next up, same situation. I thrifted, actually it's three dresses. Part three is not finished, so it won't make an appearance in this video. Um, I thrifted three dresses that day, and so I did like, I'm doing like a series. And so this is part two. This is one I haven't uploaded to YouTube yet, so y'all should be getting that sometime this week. Well, it's this week, it's next, it's it will be up before this video up. And again, I love the print. This kind of print is kind of trendy right now. I love the print. I love the fit of her. I didn't have to do like no fitting and like none of that. Um, but the style. This is what she originally looked like. I was up so clip, but I was still up at the fourth. And what she originally looked like, it very outdated. Very outdated, very basic blah it wasn't giving so first i just went through and i removed like there was a little band and who the, the tutorial would be up so <laughs> i went through and did two three things two things and i did another split in the front okay gotta give leg i love giving the leg and then i created these cool little cutouts here on the dress so she gives a little skin, a little something. She's already given full boobs. Full boobs. I wore her out this past week. My dear God, I was a cup spilleth over. Um, and then you have these little pickaboo right on my stomach, right on my waist. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I want to do this with more dresses. I want to make another dress or something. Y'all may see this. This 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 may be a tutorial. If you guys want a tutorial on how to create these cutouts and how to like either um, this tutorial, how I did this, will be up soon. Um, but if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I created from like raw fabric, let me know because that's interest. That's something I'm interested in doing. This, these cutouts are happening. They're happening. The big girls are like enough is enough. We're no longer hiding our lumps, bumps, hips, and shapes and that. Okay, y'all, I'm like laugh outside. All right, stylers, that is it. Oh, both of those dresses are five out of five dresses. Both of those dresses are five out of five. I love them. I've worn them. I love them. Um, I think that's it, stylers. When I was putting all this stuff together, I was like, I feel like something missing. I feel like I did more. But I can't think of what that is. But at the same time, I did do a lot. I did more than what I did first quarter and I felt bad because I only saw like maybe three or four things first quarter but I did a lot I did a lot and I have so much more planned to do but time I didn't want to stress myself out I was trying to drop a collection I have I had a pop-up coming up and I have another one coming up in two weeks so um me preparing for a launch and a pop-up does affect my personal sewing time or my sewing for YouTube or Instagram so but I, I think I did a lot. I'm, I'm super satisfied. I'm so excited for the things I got planned this quarter. Like, and the good thing, y'all, I got fabric for most of it. Now, there is some stuff that I didn't get to do quarter two that I will try to bring over to quarter three. Um, Like those shorts using that same fabric that from my blazer, that blazer I made, that Zelda blazer I made. Um, I do want to make me some cute little shorts and I already have a pattern for the shorts that I know works um, and then I have a, a I have a I want to create my first button up top I want to do that and then I want to create a pantsuit out of satin I want to create some satin pants and maybe a blouse I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for the blouse in the top but I definitely won't have enough for the pants so I got I got plans I got plans that's just that's a sneak peek that's a sneak peek on what's to come for quarter three all right guys that's it that is all you guys let me know down below what do you think about the DIYs I did this quarter which one was your favorite which one was your least favorite and tell me why. I honestly want the feedback. I honestly want the feedback. Which one 
of these of these I don't even know how many I'm gonna put it here on the screen which one of these was your favorite and which one was your least favorite and tell me why now I'm looking for constructive criticism okay constructive meaning I can learn from it don't be rude don't be rude stylers I'm not talking to you I'm talking to the random people that find my stuff don't be rude constructive criticism all right guys I love you guys so so much if you're new here thank you so much for watching thank you so much for tuning in give this video a thumbs up because I, I'm told that that helps um stick around for more watch some of my other videos and contents I have DIYs I have hauls I have vlogs as well as to my OG stylers, you guys already know what it is. You already know how we get down. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Remember that you are love. That you are worthy to be love. But most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Hell, hell, pussy, uh, hell. Pale petal, and I just simply did that by cutting a split, a slit, split, a slit, a slit, a split. My God.